Hello, in this screencast I'll be showing you the new chemistry features we've introduced across our journals on nature.com, allowing you to make the most of our articles online. This new functionality allows you to access a host of additional resources whilst exploring an article. We've also enriched our articles with information about chemical structures. To start, let's take a look at the various ways of viewing compounds and related data within an article. Scrolling over the bold numbers for a compound in the text brings up a pop-up box allowing you to quickly view its structure. Each compound has its own individual compound page which can be accessed by clicking on the bold number, but more on that later. Alternatively, if you want to browse through the key chemical structures in the article, simply scroll through the compound tab here in the right-hand navigation panel under Inside this article. Clicking on View All will direct you to the Compound Data Index page, listing the key compounds in that article. From here, you can go to each chemical's individual compound page or download all of the chemical structures in this article in a single ChemDraw file. If you're still hungry for more compounds, you can view a selection of some of the key compounds from that issue of the journal by following the breadcrumb trail back to Issue and clicking on the Compound Roundup link on the right-hand navigation panel. Now let's have a look at what's on the compound pages by scrolling here on the right-hand navigation panel. The compound pages provide key information about each compound, such as their name, synonyms, formula, molecular weight and elemental analysis. When a paper is accepted, the article's chemical compound data is automatically deposited to the PubChem database. This data can be viewed by clicking on the link to PubChem from this compound page. The compound structure can be downloaded from this page in any of three formats, as a ChemDraw file, a CML file or a MOL file. Chemical identifiers such as inches and smiles are also displayed. These can be used to search for chemicals online and can be converted to the 2D structure by many structure drawing programs. Back on the compound pages, you can look at the compounds in 3D, zooming in and out and rotating around the structure, like so. Where available, further information and data supplied by our authors is also displayed on the compound pages. For instance, you can download the crystallographic information file for this compound. And for this compound, the synthetic procedure and characterization data are displayed under the heading Synthetic Procedure. The bold compound numbers in the Synthetic Procedure section work just like the ones in the article text, so you can hover over the numbers that refer to starting materials or products to reveal their structure and also click on the links to go to their compound pages. In this way you can follow the chain of the reaction you're interested in. Finally, if you want to see the original version of this procedure and the full experimental details, you can return to the article and find these in the methods section, or click this link and go straight to the supplementary information. Names of compounds mentioned in the text of an article are annotated with structural information and links to chemical databases. You can choose to view the article with the compound names highlighted by clicking here. Clicking on the highlighted name allows you to link to PubChem and ChemSpider, where the chemical structure and further compound information can be found. To wrap up, I'll show you a few other features introduced on Nature.com to allow you to make the most of browsing and viewing an article online. Figures at a glance have been included at the end of each abstract, allowing you to quickly scroll through the images or structures within that article. Clicking on a thumbnail enlarges the image and includes the figure caption. Enhanced reference linking, both within and at the end of the article, allows you to view citation details more easily. Within this article, if you hover your cursor over a reference in the main text, a pop-up box appears giving you the citation details of the reference. Within the references at the end of the article, reference context allows you to view within this section the area of the text where a particular reference is cited by clicking on Show Context. Clicking on In Article highlights that reference number in yellow in the body of the text. In the supplementary information section, you'll find not only a PDF containing all the extra information and figures, but also raw data files such as these crystallographic information files where available. So that was a quick overview of the new chemistry tools on nature.com. Have fun trying them out.